And here we go again. What's going on over there? Might be my boss coming to take his kid sledding. Yep, it is. He just waved to me. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. I don't need to see him. My fucking head hurts enough. <laughs> oh, happy new year to ya. If I ever get these fucking videos uploaded, you might see this before it's February, but uh, like I said, happy new year's to ya. Uh, hopefully your head doesn't hurt as much as mine, but most likely a lot of you tear to yours. Um, I'm actually not too bad. I got a little bit of a headache, but all things considered, I fared fairly well. It's a good New Year's. Went to the local dance. I think I mentioned something about doing that anyway. So it's a good time. Still can't believe how cheap the booze is there. Cheapest fucking drinks are at. I've never really, I can't think of any other place I know of where you can go buy drinks that cheap. But, uh, hey. Makes it easier and easy to drink, but fuck even cheap drinks, man. I drink a lot. Fuck. Close to 100 bucks last night on drink tickets. What was it? Eight drinks for 30 bucks. Well, I did that twice. Plus, I got some more on top of that. So, fuck, I don't know. I drank a lot. <laughs> I gave some drinks to the woman. Fuck, I was bought. I was getting doubles. Well, not double drinks, but like I get two beer at the same time, just because that way I wouldn't have to get up and go get another one. <laughs> I'm lazy like that. Buddy asked me, was, one of the guys I work with was there, and I was sitting at a table, and I uh, sat down with two beers. He's like, why, well, you, you bring one for me or something? I was like, no, no, it's for me. He's like, what the fuck do you need two beer for? I because like, I'm lazy. What do you mean you're lazy? I'm like, well, I don't want to go out and get another one. You know, like, you're at the fucking dance, man. You're, you know, you're supposed to get up and do shit. I'm like, yeah, but I can't even fucking walk, so. So I walked home, you know, me and the woman at like 1.30 in the morning, I'm bored and walked home from you know, the dance, which is just up ahead, to where you just saw me come from. It's almost exactly 5K. Or no, no, it's not even 5K, it's less than that. All I know is it sucked. I don't really remember it, so that makes it a lot better, but uh, my legs been bothering me a lot lately, my knees sore, so. I was kind of limping along, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to try, I don't know if I showed or told you guys. Uh, I got the tractor stuck yesterday, plowing out Dad's drive. Well, I didn't get stuck, but it died in the middle of the driveway. Dad's tends to do that. This is where it likes to die every time. It's in the middle of the fucking driveway. But... Anyways, I gotta fuck get it out of the middle of the driveway somehow, because you can't even get out now. I got the driveway plowed, but uh, it's kind of useless if you can't use it, so uh, I gotta get the thing going and get it moved. The problem was the battery died. I, got, I know I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing. I gotta clean the plugs and I gotta clean the distributor. And if I do all that, she fires right up, but sometimes it you know, just knots right up. I don't know. I figured I was running out of gas the way it was acting and backfiring a lot and stuff. I don't know. It's hard to say. Every time I give it throttle, it'll just start backfiring and bogging out. So, and then to the point where it just would move. And usually when it does that, it's uh, because it's out of gas. Ah, fuck. That reminds me, I had a fuel filter home I wanted to bring. I need a fuel filter bad for it too. The, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys when I tried to do the start there a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago, whatever the fuck it was. But uh, the, uh, the fuel filter is just full of fucking crud. She's very dirty, so, you know. That's uh, gonna have to deal with that for sure. But, uh, at least it's doing its job, it's picking up the crud. That's the important thing. But, wow, if the road's ever cleaned up in the last couple of days. I don't know if you guys remember me coming up this driveway, I believe, yesterday. Or this road, yeah, I was completely fucking sideways coming up here yesterday. It's all greasy and slidey. It's not a problem really now. Let's see if I can make it slidey. Not really. Not a little bit. It's more soupy than anything. It's just slopping around in the soup. Yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's 
been a good, good New Year's. I'm happy to have gone out and done something. But uh, as you guys can see, she looks a lot more plowed out than she was yesterday. I wanted to come back and back drag a lot of this because if I can back drag it, I'll get most of it up. The more I get up, the better it'll be because uh, the more black show and the more it's going to melt off quicker. It's actually melted off quite a bit already to be honest. But now for the fun part, I got to drive around the tractor here where there isn't really driveway and still deep snow. Oh, come on. There we go. I was just worried that uh, I'd like slide into it or something. But I'm good. Oh, good. Oh, shit. I forgot to drop the battery off down there. Fuck. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to carry it back down. Such is life. I don't want to hit the truck there. Fucking snowy. Man, I love this rig in the snow. I'll tell you, as you see, there's my dad laughing at me. He didn't think I'd make it up here yesterday. <laughs> I showed him. All right, well, I might as well back right out of the way. All right, guys, well, hopefully next time I turn the camera on, this will all be plowed out. Anyways, talk to you after. Here we go again. All right, we started with the bonus. What's up, everybody? If you just saw my last video, maybe it's still this video, I don't know. You'll see that uh, my tractor made it up. Got everything going and everything worked out. I got the driveway cleared and away we go. Worked out well, actually. I was quite impressed. Now, Dad can finally get out again so that's good oh boy I'm glad once this fucking shit melts a little bit more oh shit I gotta grab that battery I don't know if you guys see that but there's a battery right there grab that that was the one that was in the tractor and it's dead now so I gotta grab that take her home and charge it one second There we go. All right. But as you can see, I got a lot of the dirt tilled up when I plowed, so the ground isn't even frozen yet, which is a bonus. But getting all that dirt tilled up really helped it. Uh, will continue to help it melt off, as it already did down here where I went over it yesterday. You can see this is all melting off quite nicely. It's another couple days of nice and warm, and uh, it'll all go away. Is that what you're looking for? I guess I should pay attention to the road. Fuck, I love the sound of this thing. Seems to be an alright vehicle so far. I knew you had to do some front end work, I think. The steering isn't straight, ever. <laughs> and I looked at the front wheels, they don't quite line up one to off from the other. She needs an alignment pretty bad, I'd say, but needs this new power steering box first. Oh, don't back up in front of me. Thank you. Yeah, it turned out actually to be a pretty nice day. Not beautiful open, it's like it's above freezing, so the snow's melting. So that's always good. Oh, fucking still kind of rode off from last night, you know, New Year's Eve and all. But fuck it, I'm gonna get drunk again tonight. I got a case of beer left over from. Well, my mother bought me a case of beer for my birthday, but 
she didn't have, have a chance to get up to get until New Year's Day, which is fine because I didn't want to drink on my birthday. I had beer, I just I had to work, so the next day, so I didn't really want to drink. But uh, and I was gonna drink New Year's Eve. The one problem when you have a birthday the night before or New Year's Eve, if you get really fucking tanked on your birthday, you don't want to deal with New Year's Eve. You know. Most people want to party more on New Year's Eve than they do on my birthday, so usually I just say fuck it. Take her easy on my birthday and then party New Year's instead. But, uh, but yeah, I wish that blue sky come over here just a little bit more. That would be pretty nice. There we go. Rocket jam. Oh, Going a little fast, don't take long, man. With V8 acceleration. I miss having a V8. I love V8 sound. I mean, you know, six cylinder can get the job done, so can four bag, you know, depending on just the car. But fuck, man, nothing's like a V8. Nothing's got that sound. Ooh, somebody's having a party. Let's go in and see if they got three moves. It's <laughs> kind of neat. Something going on there. A lot of people do have a tendency to have New Year's party, New Year's Day levy parties, or whatever the fuck they call them. I say fuck it. Depending on the day, I'll fucking get tanked again if I got any booze left. <laughs> and if I'm in any shape. A lot of New Year's, I wake up the next day. Oh, good. I don't even want to look at beer. It's gonna be very don't usually get like that much anymore. <laughs> Beautiful day. Yeah. All in all, it was a good year last year. 2015 wasn't too bad. Let's see what happens in 2016. Hopefully, I become the internet superstar. You all want me to be. <laughs> actually, a lot of people do actually say that you should get more views and stuff, but I gotta understand why I don't get all that many. The thing is, is with a lot of YouTubers, like the whole Ontario Canadian YouTube crew, I call them, you know, there's like Vlogging Life and fucking Pug Life, fucking Rickham, fucking Bill's T Max, fucking Rex 4x4. Cell CG, gasoline, you know, it just keeps going. There's a whole big crew of them. Well, they all kind of started their fame in, in one way, shape, or form through Dave's Farm. Now, mind you, you know, some of them have nothing to do with Dave's Farm. It's just through association, you know, of other people. It's just a whole little culture there, right? Well, I don't have that at all, and, you know, though I comment on their videos and stuff sometimes, I'm not really associated with any of them guys, so that makes a big difference, you know. And they all can kind of scratch each other's backs and whatever. Me, you know, it's a whole different story. I can, you know, I could probably try and actually collaborate with them, but that's a whole other fucking ball game. But it's just, you know, a lot of people have that. <laughs> They have that uh, ability, and, you know, looking for a word. Uh, I can't think of the fucking word, guys. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I made it home. I am here. I need to go get my beer and my puppy dog. And uh, I'm going to go back and drink my beer and play with my puppy dog. So, uh, anyways, guys, Happy New Year to you. I'm sure you'll be seeing this, you know, sometime in January, hopefully. <laughs> the way things are going. But, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys had a good year, you know. Let me know in the comments what you thought of 2015. You know, how was it for you? Was it the shittiest year ever, the best year ever, or just another fucking year? Another one under the another notch in the belt. Anyways, guys, talk to you later. Peace out.